fine silver quarters only from Sons of Liberty Mint. SonsofLibertyMint.com It's been a busy weekend for myself and Jacob here in Austin, Texas, the first stop of the Police Accountability Tour. On Saturday, we were able to join a lot of awesome people at the second annual Peaceful Street Summit. I was very inspired to meet with and see the activities done and the impact had by people involved with Peaceful Streets Project, as well as Cop Watch and Cop Lock. Jacob and I gave a presentation entitled, A Growing Movement, in which Jacob gave an overview of the police accountability movement since his involvement starting back in 2000. Specifically, he noted the impact that's been had from the proliferation of inexpensive cameras and cell phone cameras and the advent of online video hosting sites just, such as YouTube. He also touched on how Berkeley Cop Watch, the first Cop Watch group, got off the ground and the growth of other groups elsewhere in the states. I then jumped in and gave an overview of copblock.org and peacefulstreets.com and how those projects and the people involved got active. Also at the summit we heard Carlos Miller speak about the advent of citizen journalism which really underscored the impact again had through these tools, this technology, and this growing interconnectedness. I sat in on a panel that included four Peaceful Streets group founders, Danny Penzella from New York City, Cody Adams from Houston, Nathan Coffey from Sandusky, and Harold Gray from Austin. It was interesting to hear their input on things they found effective. I later joined a discussion with Michael McDaniels, a former police employee out of Texas. We discussed police, reform or abolish. You could probably guess the stance that I took. It was great to see that many in the audience were receptive to the fact that badges don't grant extra rights. Also at the summit, I was able to connect with and interview Jose Vera, the founder of Dallas Cop Block. B. Dolan, a hip hop artist who made the song Film the Police, was also present. He performed. <laughs> It was great to hear his background and know that these ideas are being shared through that medium of music. It's very powerful. Radley Balco, author of Rise of the Warrior Cop, spoke. He did a great job outlining the harms that come about when police be become militarized. Keynote speaker Bobby Seal, founder of the Black Panthers, was interesting and his input was welcomed. He spoke to a full house. We got eight in one car and seven in another car. <laughs> We got rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Half of us got pistols and rifles. As long as, as the law, as long as the weapon is not concealed at that time, it was not considered illegal. Now you have to remember, peaceful protesters are also getting brutalized, shot, and killed, and murdered all over the place. This is what's going on in the 1960s. And as Huey turned around, the cop is saying, You are having the right to observe me! And U.S. says no, California State Supreme Court ruling states that every citizen has the right to stand and observe the police officer carrying out his duty as long as they stand a reasonable distance away. The reasonable distance constitutes is 8 to 10 feet. I'm standing, I'm standing approximately 20 feet from you, and we're standing here and we'll observe you whether you like it or not. And to me, made clear that we need to seek alternative solutions rather than working through the system or voting or trying to fix a corrupt institution. Instead, we need to serve and protect each other. After the summit, many of us met and continued to share ideas and strengthen our bonds at Brave New Books. On Saturday night, we went out on a epic cop watch shift. Uh, at least 30 people participated. And uh, But the thing that was pretty you know, unique about this particular night was the, the amount of different cop watchers that were out there. I mean, we had Peaceful Street Sandusky, we had Dallas Cop Lock, we had, uh, we had Nevada Cop Lock, we had Peaceful Streets from Austin, we had Carlos Miller, and we had myself and Pete. You know, that was pretty special to be, you know, walking out amongst each other and seeing how we get down and, um, you know, just sharing space with each other. And I think it, it definitely helped uh, build our bonds a little bit more. And there's another police watching group uh, that's uh, in your city that you should try to participate in a shift with them and, and see how they get down and they can see how you get down. You guys can skill share and build a little bit.